chai, cardamom, pepper, ginger. Holy goodness. Mm. Okay, so bless up everybody. Um, I am Heinz and today in hindsight, yes, we have, we are in a series. We are talking about celibacy and we are talking about sexual energy. This has been on the fly, but the response has been great. So we're going to keep on going. Now, if you haven't seen the previous videos, I highly suggest you go back and watch those. So you're caught up to speed. You, you will be missing key points, key factors. If you haven't watched these videos, um, now. In the last videos, we talked about my celibate journey, how I got into celibacy, and we also talked about the power of this sexual energy. And we talked about practices that you can engage in and bring into your life to cultivate this energy and make sure you're not spilling and leaking energy out because we're trying to transmute this into our higher self so we can vibrate higher, connect with one another and be in our most creative self because we already know that our greatest form of nutrition is in our expression. When we feel creative, we feel happier. When we happier, we feel creative. It's a sustainable cycle. It's a beautiful loop. Now, we're going to get into some how to's. So now, like I told you in the first video, when I first got involved with celibacy, I failed in the first month because of alcohol. I drank one night and boom, failed, got rid of all toxic behaviors. And then I was thriving. But of course, sometimes you still get tempted. Of course, sometimes you still have thoughts. So how do we deal with these? How do we be strong and not demonize ourselves when we're celibate and our mind goes to sex or we see someone and we want to have sex and we're trying to control these urges, this great sexual energy. And we're still learning how to transmute because it is a great energy. So it is going to be difficult at times, right? One key, one key move that you need to adopt and that you need to do early if you're going to go on this journey. And even if you're not going to go on this journey, but remove people from your life who are sexual partners that you're not trying to have sex with. If you're celibate, you need to re remove the booty calls. You just need to tell them straight up. You know what? I am embarking on a journey right now and I am being becoming celibate. If they do not honor that, then definitely just remove them. They may honor it and still be your friend. But if you have people on the line that you're currently engaging with and you're going to go into the spiritual practice, this energy practice, because celibacy is an energy practice, remove all booty calls, right? Communicate. Honestly, just don't cut people off. Communicate. Hey, I'm doing this, right? I did that. I would communicate with people, with women who I could tell were interested with me. And I'm like, I am celibate and I'm going to be celibate for a while. And the ones that just wanted to deal with you on that level and this vice versa, women, um, you know, you tell a man you're celibate. If they don't want to be your, be your friend no more, you know, they're just looking for one thing, right? So this is a great way to wean people out of your life who aren't going to serve us in our highest of self. I feel like my hair is just all over the place right now. Okay. Second, um, you're going to have to adopt other practices in your life to, become in tune with your breath. So this is going to be meditation, right? This is going to be yoga. This is very key, 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 very important when you're embarking on this journey of cultivating your energy and celibacy, because these are practices that are going to allow you to feel your energy and move your energy. But most importantly, have that stillness and that breath within yourself and that peace within yourself. You're going to feel grounded, right? Um, when we're not grounded, that's not, that's what I find when we start to pick up toxic habits, let it be smoking, drinking, eating toxic foods, hanging out with people. We shouldn't hang out just a whole gang of things. These things happen when we're not grounded and we're leaking, we're leeching on the things to make us feel fulfilled. We're looking for masks. We're looking for crutches, right? So you need some practices in your life. You need some hobbies. Some of mine were, I got into yoga and before. I got into yoga while I was celibate, celibate before that. I never did yoga in my life. Never thought I would. Yoga was an amazing journey for me. Um, feeling all that energy and then going and being able to release it and get in tune with my body 
was amazing. So you need spiritual practices and you need to remove the booty calls, right? You just need to have people around you that respect your decisions. Now, people will think you're crazy. Like my boys would tell me, you you can't do that. Not because I was some sex freak. They just, they couldn't do it themselves. People will have the inability to do something and they'll project it onto you that you can't do it either because they can't envision themselves doing that. So they will literally, you will have some negative Nancy's in your life. So remove that as well. You know, some people want to understand, but you have to have vision. You have to have focus, right? Next. Hmm. What should we get into? What should we get into next? There's going to be a lot of reflection. There's going to be a lot of alone time. Celibacy involves a lot of alone time. Why? Because you're not having partners in that way anymore. You're not creating those type of tangible relationships and um, sexual relationships. So you're going to be alone a lot. And this is beautiful because this is when you really get to learn more about yourself, about your mind, about your body, about um, your insight, and you can become truly connected. I believe if you believe in a God with God um, through celibacy, I became one with Jah. That's why I say I'm powered by Ja because I felt like I not I felt like I opened my channels. I could feel my energy and God, the universe, whatever you want to call it, would run right through me. And that's how I feel. I am powered by the most high, by source energy, right? Celibacy is all about discipline, but also flow. You don't want to be too hard on yourself. You don't want to suppress yourself too much. The sexual energy is important, right? This is a divine energy. So you want to recognize it as this divine, strong energy, but we need to have discipline, right? We're going to have to have a lot of discipline depending on the duration that you want to embark on. Why would you go celibate? Because you want to learn about energy and you want to grow. You're going back to school to learn about the most important energy that we have, which is our sexual energy. And that's the same energy that is our creative energy. It is the same force that creates. It is creation, right? And that that ability to have that energy, we can apply to anything in our life and create. Okay. Discipline. Now, for me, I was a little bit for, again, the first round for about three years. And I truly learned about my energy. I picked up spiritual practices. I remove toxic behaviors. Everything was a domino effect. It's not just about not having sex. Again, it's an energy practice. And this energy practice is such a strong force that it will kick out any toxic energies in your life, right? You may need a support system, but if you don't have one, that's okay. I didn't really have one. I was doing this by myself. There was no one I could talk to that's done it before. There is no one I could talk to when I started to become conscious of my energy and I could feel literally everything. If I ate something, I could feel how it would affect me on a vibrational level, positive or negative. If I was in a room beside someone, I can feel them energetically. I became very in tune with my senses. I, it's almost as if I had superpowers. It's not as if I developed my superpowers. I sharpened that craft, right? This is what happens with our creative energy. This is why you want to embark on the journey is because you want to become a more powerful human being. You want to be able to manifest things into your life, right? Think about if you have all this energy, your channels are open. Think about the powers you have to manifest and bring things into your life now to actually create tangible results and do whatever you feel you need to do, right? This is how celibacy can cultivate energy and how it can honor you and how you will have better sex because of energy. It's kind of like the opposite yin yang thing, right? Less is more that type of concept. You know, you don't have sex, then you're going to have better sex. This is the beautiful thing about celibacy. It's not about demonizing sex. It's not about not having sex out of fear. It's all about love. You're not having sex because of love for self. And when you do decide to have sex, you're going to have sex with partners that are in alignment with you, that are in alignment with your energy, ones that you truly want to connect with and become one with, right? This gives you the power over your sexual energy. You won't fall victim to your urges, right? We need to be the master creators and the masters of our own lives, of our own senses, of our own 
desires. When we're not, we're being ran by these desires and we will trip and stumble over our own energy. This is going to be why you need to adopt the discipline into your life, but I guarantee you it is very beautiful. So when I was about two years in, two and a half years in, complete shift. I went from people being attracted to me for what I could do, because like I said, I was working in the music industry, shooting music videos, doing a lot of cool things, being around a lot of cool people, and people were interested in me for what I would do and my energy. But after celibacy and after I really tuned into my energy and became conscious of my energy, people would always say to me, I love your energy. When I'm in your presence, I feel calm. What do a lot of y'all say on my YouTube channel? I love the energy, right? I cultivated this energy through celibacy. And then when I was done with celibacy, I continued to use the practices. I continued to use the theories. I continued to cultivate energy through sex because you can cultivate mega energy through sex, right? It's not just not having sex and you become powerful both sides of the spectrum you can cultivate energy but if you do not know how to not have sex you do not know how to have sex okay this is just facts so we went over a couple things here we went over removing booty calls right communicating with the people around you that may take you off course so they can understand so they can be supportive if they're not going to support you need to kick them out we're going to adopt hobbies spiritual practices like meditation yoga uh, fitness you know i rock climb now um you know qigong is an amazing one tai chi that is pure energy work and we're going to what happens if you fail now remember celibacy is a practice right it's a journey what happens when you practice you fail so it's okay if you fail but you have to learn why did you fail when I failed, I learned because of alcohol. So whatever the reason is you failed, then you have to combat that, right? right? And the next thing you need to understand is why do you have sex? What's the sole reason? Look at the last five to 10 times you've had sex if it wasn't in a relationship, as if, if you were single. And what was the reason? If it was mainly physical, then you need to know you need some recalibrating to do, right? If it was mental, physical, you're really into the person, cool, that's a great way to embark. But if you're gonna be celibate, you need to know your weaknesses. And if you do have a weakness with your urges and you're just having sex because you're of a physical sensation, that is gonna give you the knowledge to understand how to protect yourself and how to stay out of scenarios or around people that are gonna entice you until you create enough energy and aura around you where it don't do nothing, you know, understand? like. I have women in my life that I'm so comfortable with and that I'm very attracted to and I don't need to have sex with them. Actually, I have a lot more foresight. I know who I should take it there with and who I shouldn't. And I know how to honor my friendships with women so they can cultivate into loving, um, long lasting relationships instead of just having sex with everybody and, 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 and damaging unions that weren't supposed to be sexual unions they are actually supposed to be just be friendships. Now, to close it all off, why would somebody want to be celibate? You're going to grow. You're going to be more creative. You're going to be conscious of your energy and people are going to be attracted to you and you will be more focused. These are great reasons to adopt. I say if you're going to go into celibacy, it should be at least one year. I think anything under one year isn't enough time. If you're if, if you're like me, by the time you hit one year, you're going to keep going because you're having such an ex amazing experience, unless you may meet someone that is just out of this world and you're going to embark on a new journey, which is amazing as well. How amazing is it to embark on a new sexual journey or relationship with somebody after cleansing self, cleansing spirit, cleansing yourself from all the other energetic ties and coming at it with a new slate. It's almost like you're a born again virgin and you get to experience sex in its purity again, right? It's beautiful. So that is celibacy. I don't know if we're going to do more videos on it or not. So far, there's three videos. Um, there's a lot more things we could talk about on it, but I do want to talk about other things. So You don't know in hindsight everything gonna be all right. Um, it's a vibe thing, and we definitely be powered by Ja. Please leave a comment, like, subscribe. I love talking with y'all. Um, and yeah, thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>